Hello there. Today I've got a bit of a more exciting unboxing for you. Well, one of my favourites, I think this will be. This is from Griffin. It just came now from Parcel Force. Bit of an interesting story. Well, I say interesting. It's actually very boring. Um, because Griffin don't have a UK base, um, they only work from the USA and they have UK resellers, um, this particular product doesn't come to the UK until October or November time. So I had to order it from the USA. Um, and, of course, living in the UK... They checked it and I got charged £21.74 extra for import tax. So if you're planning on importing, they will definitely sting you with the extra. Because in total, this cost me $110, which was about £70 anyway. And then they've put on an extra 22 quid, so it's come to like £90. Griffin have started to release some really decent um, bits of tech recently. Obviously, they've, they've released a lot of good stuff before. Um, but they're now planning on doing more fun stuff like musical stuff uh, as opposed to cases and uh, uh, car stands and car mounts and stuff. So this is the first thing. The Hilo TC, which is a helicopter from Griffin, which you fly with your iPod Touch, iPhone or iPad. Um, and that's in there. You can see a tiny little thing. Um, and basically the app is free and then you get a little... A connector which I'll show you in the box in a second and then you can control the helicopter with that and you control it with your iPhone basically you can also record flight path patterns so uh, you can put it down on the table set it to record make it fly around the room and then make it repeat the same pattern as you uh, made it do before and it's also got some lights on it too so uh, so first things first this is the controller you get The way it works is you lift this up, plug your device in here, so it just slots in, um, um, then you just plug that into the headphone jack and it works with infrared which is what this is. The application itself, I can show you it on here, by Griffin, and you've got directional stick there you can also opt to control it with the accelerometer and the, and the gyroscope here you've got your lift off pad which I'll show you how it works in a second here's an emergency landing when you press the orange button it basically just drops from the sky um, and then you've got the option to turn on the lights and then you have the option to record separate flight plans there as well the way it works is the reason you have to have your headphone jack plugged in and the volume turned up all the way is because it sends um, sounds like this And the different sounds tell the infrared what to broadcast to the helicopter. So that was lift, lift off. This is um, lights. So each of them has got its own unique um, sequence that gets sent through the headphone jack. Now for the helicopter itself. Which doesn't look like a helicopter yet. Um, I'll find out how to fix that in a second. There'll be instructions somewhere. But uh, this is what you get. It's very well made. Metal pipes, plastic body, the light there on the front and there. And there there's three lights on the front. And then you've got a tail spinner too. I don't know if that actually works or not. But we'll soon find out. Pop that there for a second. You also get... What appears to be a USB lead. And quite a few things actually. You get spare wings, a couple of spare tail wings too, and then a lead which connects to a power source. So that must mean. Yeah, cool. So you can charge it up via USB as well. But I will get a set of batteries inside this and get it all sorted and uh, see if I can give you a little demo at the end of this video. So I should be back in a few seconds. Bear with me. So then uh, here's the app running on the iPad. Um, since the last time I recorded that intro, um, it's been a while. But now I'm going to show you it in action and I'm going to use my iPad to demonstrate it.
quite tough to fly. It kind of seems to have two options, which are either on or off. So basically, um, if you don't mind hitting the ceiling a few times and getting it bumped around a bit, you'd be okay. Um, the helicopter itself, the way it's designed, with the foldable wings and the, the bending in stuff, means that um, it's quite resilient to knocks and drops, as you can see from the outtakes I did there. Um, I think it hit down the bed frame about 10 times, hit my printer about 4 times, uh, bounced across the ceiling 4 times, and then fell to the floor. So it's very good, it hasn't broken, which is good because it's expensive, um, but it does take a lot of getting used to. And Griffin, in the new update on the app, added a uh, expert mode, which is basically a mode you switch on within the app, uh, the option is there, and you can turn it off if you want, like that, and then what that does is limits the lift off by half, so you can only go from zero up to halfway, um, which only gives you half the power, whereas Expert would give you the full bar to use from top to bottom, so what I seem to find is if you just went like this, it would hit the ceiling. Um, if you did it slowly, it would sort of bob on the floor, and then as you got higher and higher, it would then sort of glide backwards on the floor again, and then hit something. So you kind of have to pick a spot, which is near the halfway mark, and just go like that, and hope that it goes up to it. But it takes a lot of practice. Um, I only did about three successful, um, longer than one minute flight paths in that um, practice then. Um, but a lot more outtakes and the battery life on it is not fantastic either um, it will only last something like I think it's 20 minutes flight time for every charge and it takes about the same length of time to charge up again so you'll be charging it a lot but if you, you, if you get good at it then obviously it's a nice little toy to have um, it's probably better to use it in the outdoors because you're less likely to bump into stuff and you've got more free space to be able to practice with um, but yeah, that's the Griffin Helo TC. It's very good. I rate it a big 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.